Justin Fashnu, born in 1961, died in 1998. The first black footballer to be transferred for a million pounds from Norwich City to Nottingham Forest. And the first footballer in the top flight and still the only footballer to come out as gay. Which clearly we know is absolute nonsense. If I can just show you this is uh, a piece of artwork I created in 1998, a long way back, one of the first in my Black Lux collection, called Ups and Downs. And it's a, a graphic piece of work which sort of aptly illustrates Justin's life. Uh, he had so many ups and downs to deal with. Uh, this is featured in, this is a fantastic biography and a very good appraisal of Justin's life. Uh, it's neither gushing or neither too critical, but just very, very fair. And I read this and to my surprise, there's a chapter called Snakes and Ladders based on this print, uh, chapter seven uh, in Jim's book. So cheers, Jim. 20 years later, I did uh, another graphic piece. Uh, again, on the same sort of mystery, you know, who done it, caught on a, a Cluedo piece. Uh, because even writing a few notes uh, for this short film, I clocked up about 14 pages because Justin's life was so complicated. There's so many facets. Uh, I mean, he, he, he took his own life. Uh, and you, you know, you ask why did he get into into that position? Well, you know, there was you know, the problems he had with his faith. Uh, he was um, an evangelical Christian, which condemned homosexuality. So that is a that is a very big ask. That's a tricky tricky you know issue to deal with. There was his family um, being fostered. There was the his he obviously liked sort of material things in life and has his football career through injury lessened he, he started to actually do some really daft things um, you know the, the nonsense so he is a very very complicated individual a charming handsome witty person but there, there was a sort of flip side to him um, I think Peter Tatchell his friend wrote the following Justin Fachinu was a bright shining star, not a flawless star, but a star nevertheless. Uh, I still, still think that's probably the best description. If we can come over to this first portrait here, I completed three portraits, a triptych of Justin Fachinu portraits. And what I wanted to do is, was Justin was an incredibly good boxer. He, he, he probably should have uh, made his career in boxing because he was absolutely brilliant. And he's a, a real tough alpha male. But I, I wanted to introduce the sort of feminine side of Justin using these flowers, using nets. So you have a powerful image, but also a delicate a man in touch with the, 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 the softer side of his nature, an interesting man. So I, I completed three of these for the National Football Museum. And once I started making portraits of, of Justin, they just escalated with all the different facets of his life. Uh, and pretty soon I realised that I had an exhibition, I had a dozen pieces of artwork about, about Justin. So if I can just sort of show you this poster here. I had, um, this was the first fine art exhibition dedicated to Justin Fashionu. This was in Coventry, where I live, um, in the Blue Door Gallery. And um, I had about 12, 12 pieces plus biography. Um, it it made, made for a very interesting show and it was, it was well received. If I can just come over to another portrait over here. This is called In the Pink. Obviously a play on words. Uh, I've already mentioned the fact that he was the first and only player to, to come out as being gay in the professional game, which is absolutely ludicrous. I mean you just think, well, what, what's wrong with football when you can't express your own sexuality? 
it's it's just plainly ridiculous. When he did come out, uh, did he get support from the black community? Well, it was mixed. He had the black newspaper, The Voice, really making hateful and vile comments about Justin Fashioner, as did unfortunately his brother. So he didn't he didn't get that uh, support from the football community. Um, if you look at his life towards towards the end of his life, uh, he had a serious injury when he was about 22, and his his career was never really the same. He ended up playing a lot of clubs abroad in the States, New Zealand. He played in Scotland, all over all over the place. Um, so he never reached the same heights, but he he did like those material things. So he started just making stories up, to be perfectly honest. I can remember seeing him out with the Corrie actress, Julie Goodyear, uh, and you just think, Justin, you know, just come on. Um, so it was, it was quite, a, quite an interesting sort of episode or episodes in his life. Uh, a sort of down, a downward spiral, unfortunately. Um, I remember a kid when I was doing a workshop, a young teenager, uh, and of all the of all the issues that you talk about in school, racism, sexism, women's pl women playing football, homosexuality is the most most tricky. And a young kid asked me. I thought it was going to be a daft question, but he'd never seen Justin before, and he said to me, "What does he look like?" Uh, and I got the impression he thought Justin was going to be very camp or almost like some sort of pantomime sort of gay person. When I showed him some photos of Justin, uh, and I mean Justin, as I'm repeating, was a very, very alpha male, a beautiful man, but an Adonis, a fine athlete, a boxer. If anybody messed with Justin, well, they got more, more than they bargained for. This kid was genuinely surprised. He didn't say anything, but I could just see he was genuinely surprised. Um, so really, I just sort of come back to the last uh, statement and I think it's worth saying once again about about Justin from Peter Tatchell that he was a bright shining star not a flawless star but a star nonetheless okay thank you very much